Canelo Alvarez returns to action this Mexican Independence Day as he looks to restore one of boxing's oldest rivalries uh, between Mexico and Puerto Rico this weekend as he takes on the chosen one himself, Edgar Berlanga, over in Las Vegas. No surprise to see Canelo Alvarez go into this one as the massive minus 16-20 favourite right now with Edgar Berlanga coming back at a pretty healthy plus 9.30. Before I get into a best bet for this fight, I just want to mention we're only a few days away from the Champions League returning proper. And myself and Carmine have combined forces to offer a great two-for-one deal that is up right now over at Wager Talk. We'll get you both of us for the entire season at one low price. Carmine, as some of you may know, is the top profit soccer leader lifetime over at Wager Talk while... I was number one across all UEFA competitions last season, Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, and so on. So, great time to jump on board there and join both of us before the new competition kicks off proper on September 17th. Return it to the best bet for this fight, however. And look, I, I think this is a completely one-sided fight, in all honesty. Uh, Berlanga, frankly, has no business being in the ring against Canelo. Um, the odds reflect that as well. And I believe we're going to see that recent recent distance run that Canelo's been on you know he hasn't had a stoppage in the ring going all the way back to Caleb Plant almost three years ago now uh, I think we're going to see that get snapped this weekend against Berlanga Berlanga is undefeated he does hit hard he had that you know impressive but you know nonetheless kind of manufactured first round KO streak earlier in his career when he was still with top rank um, but he, he's never kind of got off that pedestal that he believes he's on you know, he still sees himself firmly as elite. You know, he's been really going at Canelo in the press conferences, um, you know, stating he's going to take over boxing and all this other stuff. And yes, look, by all means, you have to build up a fight. Um, but it looks quite obvious from the outside that Canelo is getting sick of all his ranting. Uh, you know, he even told Caleb Plant he was going to take care of him. Uh, for plant after they got into it as well so you know Canelo mentioned in a recent interview that the only fighter he really wanted to punish in the ring was Billy Joe Saunders Saunders uh, disrespected him as he tends to do against every opponent massively before the fight um, you know far worse than the whole language mix up that happened between Canelo and Caleb Plant for instance and you know we all know what happened to Billy Joe Saunders in that fight you know, got his orbital bone smashed for his trouble. So, you know, while that same sort of venom mightn't be on display here for Canelo, Berlanga's definitely doing enough uh, to get under his skin here. And that factors into my decision process for this fight. You know, I believe Canelo could have gotten the stoppage against Jaime Munguia in his last fight. You know, if he had oppressed it, he, he put him down early in that fight, fourth round, I believe, um, and hard as well. Um, but there was an element, an element of respect there, I should say. You know, Jaime Munguia is the new generation. He's, an, he's a Mexican warrior on top. But, you know, Edgar Berlanga has none of the appeal of a Jaime Munguia. Um, far weaker resume. Um, shows none of the respect of Munguia either. And, you know, at the end of the day, look, if you're, if you're struggling against a, a Jason Quigley, you know, you're getting sat down by the likes of Marcelo Caceres. You know, what's a first ballot Hall of Famer like Canelo going to do? So... I think Canelo gets back on track pretty easily in this one. I think this is a complete mismatch, in all honesty. And, you know, Berlanger's likely going to learn a very valuable lesson on Saturday for all his trash talk ahead of this one against, you know, whether you think Canelo's fading, whether he's still at the top, you know, all that away, his resume, he's a legitimate ATG. So Canelo Alvarez to get the stoppage between rounds 5 to 8 is going off right now at a pretty slim plus 165. Bookies, uh, thinking the same as I do probably here but you know that's more than likely the wheelhouse Berlanga gets broken down and stopped in this one in my opinion he is a proud Puerto Rican this is a huge national rivalry on top um, but as we start to get into the middle rounds of this fight you know I believe he eventually succumbs to the beating um, and likely gets stopped so Canelo Alvarez for me in rounds 5 to 8 at plus 165 on Saturday not the biggest odds um, but it is the most likely to occur in my opinion let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below can canelo alvarez finally get back in the stoppage column in this one or will edgar belanga shock the world of mexican independence day and um, it would definitely shock me let me know down below and as always don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so it's very much appreciated and until next time slana walia and best of luck on all your bets